Okay, we're going to calculate a yield to maturity for a zero coupon bond here. And the information I have given you is um, as uh, in terms of a percentage of par value. And so the shortcut way to do that is just set par equal to $100 and let all of our other uh, numbers flow through that. And so for the zero coupon bond, Recall that we have no payments whatsoever until the par value repayment at maturity. That's 10 years away. And in our calculations, we're going to think about semi-annual periods. We're going to put 20 periods on our timeline. Again, setting par value equal to 100. We have $100 cash flow right there. So what's the price? The price is 65% of par. And so if par is $100, price is going to be what? 65 and so I'm going to have a PV of 65 out here. And so we're just going to connect these two with one another. Let's go straight to a financial calculator on this one. We'll make that FV because it is the final cash flow. It's going to be positive because the bondholder will receive it. Um, we'll make 65 our PV. And if the bondholder receives the $100, the bondholder is going to pay $65 for the bond. So we'll make that negative. EMT, since it's a zero, is what? That's right. It's zero. And 20 is in. All right. We are now good to go with our financial calculator. So uh, we'll start out with 100 as FV, zero as PMT, 65. Five as a negative number going into PV, 20 going into N, and I'm going to compute I. Now I've got 2.1773%. Remember, that is a semi annual rate. That is a semi annual rate. And so for the answer, what do I need to do? I need to double it. So just multiply that by number by two, and I've got my answer.